Here we are at Chelsea Football Club's training ground in Cobham for Chelsea's cook-off. It's John Obi McKell against Pedacek. Let's go and see how the boys are feeling ahead of their battle over the stove. Okay, gentlemen, here we are before the cook-off. How are we feeling? Nervous. So many people now, the camera, everything get out. So, no, well, I hope it's going to be a good fun. What was the last time you cooked? The last and what time, was it? The last time I cooked, it was spaghetti. I made spaghetti. Uh, uh, spaghetti. That's good. Just spaghetti. Right, okay. With, um, I had it with... Uh, with uh, <laughs> with ketchup. I think you're going to say you could have had it with Kalu. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the last thing I cooked. But, yeah. I'll, I'll see, I think, with the with what they have here, I'm just going to see what I can play around with, and hopefully it's going to taste really good. Shake hands and may the best man win. Good luck, the best. Good, good luck. luck, boys. So, the talking is over. It's now down to the chefs to perform in the next 60 minutes. <laughs> Thank you. Michelin. Michelin staff. So, the players have one hour to cook a two-course meal. First up... John Obi Teflon Mikel, self-proclaimed beginner in the kitchen, will be cooking Mikel 12 sauce with grilled chicken and eat an Obi mess for dessert. You know, everything looks fresh. I think, you know, I'm beginning to think, you know, this is gonna be my game, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna win. Do you know what? He's been cheating over there, don't you realise that? Has he? You know, Pedicek, he's been turning the eggs he's on his blackberry, he's got his no. recipe. Yeah, he has, he has. You can't have a, he's already you started. You need to cancel that, you need to. He started 15, 20 minutes he's ago. He's cheating. Meanwhile, Pedder Oven Gloves Czech is cooking up chicken escallop and mashed potatoes for main course. Then for dessert, a traditional Czech cake called babovka. But so it's it, a cake you're cooking? But it takes uh, 45 minutes to bake, so I will start with it, then I will do the rest. And where does this recipe come from? This comes from uh, Czech kitchen, and I think it's because it's not Mm, as you see, you need a bit of eggs, sugar and, and uh, oil and not, not many flour. You don't need much things. Then it's like a kind of, kind of uh, traditional Czech cake. So far, you've been impressed with is the, the concentration on his face. Okay, yeah, I am, you know. I told you I already had to win. I don't want to be last. Someone's going to have to be a winner and there's going to have to be a loser. And the winner is going to be me. Trust me. Yeah. You know, I am going to beat this guy. Mikel's over there saying that he's going to win this. Well, he he's saying that he's, there's got to be a winner, there's got to be a loser, and you're going to be the well, loser. Well, I hope. Whoever, That's what he's saying. I'm only, I'm only I telling think you what whoever, he's saying. whoever wins, I just hope that the people will like what they, what they can taste. I think he has no chance anyway. Uh -huh. so. That should go back there. And that's my garlic in the middle. My garlic plays as a midfield player for me as a holding role, look at that. In the middle, holding the midfield for me. Follow me, English. I, I reckon if he was in the MasterChef, I'm gonna get uh, nine and a half over 10, you know. So what does that make me a winner today? So whatever Peter Tech is doing is just wasting his time. Mind games. So, mind games are rife in the kitchen. And with the halfway point approaching, goalkeeping coach Christoph Lollishon comes in to check out how both players are getting on. But I think uh, Peter can work in France huh, because a fantastic, uh, fantastic French cook. Huh? Good attitude. Huh? He hasn't dropped it yet. Sorry? He hasn't dropped it. Good luck. Good luck, Peter. Yeah. Mikel, look at this. Yeah. I don't want to see it. It's showing off already, look. Yeah, it's showing off. Don't worry about that. I'm in control of my food. Ready. Okay. The the form. You know, I am gonna beat this guy. Don't worry. And with Mikel confident of victory, a familiar face enters the kitchen to inspect the food. Oh, cordon bleu! <laughs> man, you need to taste this food, man. Because what I'm making here is is fantastic. Let me taste. <laughs> Look, Peter is very serious, man. Peter wants to beat me, man. Didier, does he strike you as being a, a cook? Does he strike you as someone that... I think he's better with his food. <laughs> 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 you see? 
He's good with his foot. Yeah, he's good. He's, he's good with his hands. <laughs> That's why he's a goalkeeper. Yes, impressed? Mm. Yeah. I think Peter should just give it up, man. Because I'm winning this. Peter Check, I think, uh, you know, he's putting uh, a lot of love into the, 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 the cooking. And uh, no, you can see that Obi is trying hard, but, you know, he's better with his, <laughs> you know, with, uh, with the ball. Now, if you want to get a woman, just make this and show her this. She's all yours, man. And with cooking Lothario Mikel in a jubilant mood, there's an early inspection. That is Italian pasta. Do you want to taste it, Carlo? Yes. Mm. i get you a spoon. This is good. It's very good. Tomato sauce. How are you? I want to taste this, because I'm not sure about that. He's made the own, his own sauce. He's cut the tomatoes, the onions, the garlic, the basil. He's mixed it himself. No, this is good. Onion and garlic is good. I have to taste. How you cook this? So oh, I need to wait when the potatoes are ready. And then I will mix it with a bit of butter, salt, milk, and that will come up nicely together. Look at the way it looks. Ah, oh, fantastic. I told him to take a picture and send it to Gunnar Ramsey. He's going to employ me. Then what do we have here? Mikel has finished his dish. And with time against him, Czech is now under real pressure to finish on time. Good. They're so ready over there. They're saying that, that time's up. There's no, there's no extra time. That's what they're saying. Well, nobody did the deadline with the, with the time. It's getting there, Obi. Don't worry. Look at that. That's fantastic, isn't it? I'm a very proud man to make this look. So, with Mikel happy with his result, the attention turns to Czech and his extra cooking time. It's just veggie time, yeah. I think that's point deduction. Five point deduction. <laughs> he said his cake is going to be better than my. It's a mess. That. I never said that. I never said that. Cut. So, the ovens are off and the cooking is complete. But before the judges taste, the final words go to the contestants. I just said to the guys to take a picture and send it to Gunnar Ramsey. Maybe I can get another job, you know. <laughs> How confident, Peter, are you feeling? Well, the, the only problem is he's Italian. <laughs> <laughs> so the tension is building here at Cobham as the cook-off comes to a climax. It's the gaffer and goalkeeping coach, Christophe Lolichon, who have the unruly task of tasting <laughs> Teflon Mikel's food first. So, to recap, he cooked up a breast of chicken with Mikel 12 sauce and pasta. He also has for dessert Eaton OB mess. Let's see what the judges make of his food. Um, the sauce I made with fresh tomatoes and onions and garlic. So, together with the chicken. Good. Good, it's, it's a little bit sweet. A bit sweet. Um, more okay. salt. If you had that in an Italian restaurant in the middle of Rome or somewhere like that, in Milan, would you, what, would you, what would you say? I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with Carlo. For me, we need salt. Salt, yes. So out of 10, what, what, what would you give this out of 10? Six. Yes. Seven. Seven? Are you happy with seven? That's a good mark. I, I like strawberry. Eight, eight for eight me. Eight, 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 eight. Pretty good try. Thank you. Thank you. We are still alive. So, thankfully, Carlo is still alive. <laughs> Next up to the judging arena is Petter Oven Gloves Czech, who brings his very own taste of Czech Republic to the table. And a reminder, he cooked chicken, a scallop, and mashed potatoes for main course. Then, Czech Babovka cake for dessert. This is the Czech traditional cake. It's very hot, I told you. <laughs> Be careful, the plate is very hot. So. Mashed potato. Mm. Can you explain how 
how, they, how did I do it? It's from the boiled potatoes, obviously. Then you squash the potatoes, put a bit of salt, butter, milk, and then you, and then you mash it. First impressions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hot? Hot. <laughs> That's a good yes. thing. Very good. Seven. Seven, okay. Christoph, what did you give for that? Fantastic. Mm. Seven. What have we got here, Peter? That is a you chicken, did. chicken case. You did. Yes. Called, called Babovka in Czech, which is a kind of marble cake. You have to eat this with red wine, because with water. I like with eight. That's an eight, yes? Absolutely. But the test is very nice. Eight. So the judging is done. It's now over to me the for the results. Where is the wine, please? <laughs> and the winner, by just one point, oh, is Peter Cech. Awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well done. So, oven gloves, Cech triumphs winning by just one point overall. He scored 14 points for his chicken a scallop and then 16 for the traditional Czech cake. So meanwhile, for the loser, Teflon Mikel, it was unlucky 13 points for the chicken and Mikel 12 sauce, with 16 points for the Eton Obi mess. So it's the prestigious uh, Chelsea Mikel. April Award for him, while that Teflon Mikel gets the wooden spoon. In the end, <laughs> it wasn't enough for the Nigerian, but our number 12 clearly isn't happy with the result. I feel cheated because I finished cooking my pasta, um, I think, 20 minutes before Peter finished his, his main course. If you take step by step, then they were cooking three, I was cooking one. Christophe Lollyshaw being the judge, come on, what else do you expect? I think the judges were picked to his favour because when you cook pasta and you have an Italian judge, you have a half of the victory in your pocket. And that's his favourite keeper as well. I didn't pick the judges. I'll launch an appeal now and next time, if it happens again, points should be deducted. Well, he can, he can try that. I don't know who's going who's gonna to make the inquiry in, in this. I didn't stand a chance, but uh, you know, that's one of those things. I told them to take a picture and send it to Gunnar Ramsey. He's going to employ me. I always eat out. The only problem is he's Italian. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get a woman, just make this. She's all yours, man. Oh, I have to remain neutral. <laughs> I never said that. Cut. <laughs> it's getting there, Obi. Don't worry. He's got it on camera. <laughs>